today I'm going to show you how to download homebrew apps and games directly on your modded PS Vita and along with downloading them, this app is also going to let you update them without a PC. So you can do it all on your PS Vita here. And just a quick disclaimer, I'm not going to be showing you how to get any paid software illegally in this video. All you need is a modded PS Vita and you're good to go. And if you haven't done that yet, I have a video just for you in the description or in the top right here where you can get started there. So since you have a modded Vita already, you should have this app called Vita Deploy, which we installed in our guide. So let's load that up, start it. And we'll be using the app downloader, so just navigate to that and select it. We can go down, it is the second one, it's called Vita DB Downloader. We're gonna check that off, go up and download selected apps. And once it's done, you can exit that app and you should see Vita DB right there ready to go. So let's go ahead and load it right up. So when you first run the app, you will be prompted to get a few downloads, but just press OK here and then it'll automatically get everything you need for you. You don't even have to touch your device. So just let it do its thing and you should eventually get to this screen where you have an option to get a plugin that allows Homebrew to automatically check for updates, which I would suggest pressing yes. It's a nice convenience to have when things get updated. It'll take another couple minutes, so just sit tight, let it do its thing, and I'll meet you when we are in VitaDB and ready to go. Once you are done your setup and you see this screen, this is where the magic happens. So as you can see, this is a huge list of homebrew apps and games. And as I mentioned before, these are not actual PlayStation Vita games that you can get here. These are fan created games. So they are all fan made and there's no copyright issues there. As I mentioned before, this is also where you update it. So it'll, it'll, it'll tell you here if it's outdated or up to date. So let's go ahead and select Vita DB, press yes. And now we're gonna update our Vita DB, which is the app we're on right now. You see, without this app, you would have to hook up your Vita to your computer, download the VPK, and then install it with Vita Shell. But this eliminates that, and you can do it directly on your Vita. It saves time and headaches, potentially. But there we go, it has been updated, and we'll reload into Vita DB right now. And if we go down, it is updated so just like that it was very simple so you you have this big list but you also have the option to go to the top and search for something so if we want a custom theme manager let's just search custom and there we go as you can see i have it already but you can just select it and it'll download the vpk or try to update it if you already have it but as you can see it is very simple very straightforward and there we go so if your apps don't work I know the first time I downloaded custom themes manager it was from the app downloader section and it gave me an outdated version so I had to come in here and update it but let's go ahead and download a game I'll also show you how about Sonic Vita let's download that and of course, the bigger the file, the longer it will take. This one is 21 megabytes. If you guys haven't set up an SD to Vita card in your Vita, I highly set, I highly recommend it, and I show you how in my initial modding video. But there you go, it is now installed. As you can see, it is updated. That means it's on its latest version. But we can exit here, and I'll show you that it should be on your Vita menu. Perfect. If this guide helped you, make sure to smash like and hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>